guys, Queen Cuddly here with a mini tutorial. And this time I'm going to teach you how to do speed paint videos for whatever artwork or whatever you're doing. I'm going to teach you in Movie Maker, which is the cheapest option because it is free and everyone can get it. And for Mac users, I'm sorry, I don't have a Mac, so I don't know if you can actually use this on Mac. Um, other than that, I'll probably do a version 2 with um, Adobe Premiere. But for now, I'm going to use this because this is the simplest and easiest way to do it. And you could always, you know, make it all fancy. And whenever you want to move up in the world, you can buy Premiere, as everyone else does, and uh, go from there. But for now, if you want a cheap option, Movie Maker is your best bet. So to start off, uh, we're just going to open the program, and it looks like this when you start off. To get now, what you're going to do is record whatever uh, speed paint you want to speed up, because speed paints isn't you just painting really quick; it is a time lapse. So record whatever artwork you're doing. Uh, it could be traditional, it could be digital, di digital. Um, you can use OBS or Procaster, 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 I don't know, something like that, or um, Action or whatever, however way you do it, or you can do live stream recordings, you can also do that. Do whatever, make sure you know where you find it. Um, you go to the folder, so I'll just use one of the ones that I've done in the past as an example, then you just click the video, click it and drag it and you'll have all the frames in there. Now to speed it up you just click on the video you go under edit and you go under the speed here and you speed it up let's say I want to do it by four and it will speed it up and this little bit window here will show you how fast it's going. So I'm just gonna play that and see how fast it goes and as you can tell there's a little bit of a pause before I actually start drawing and that's how fast it is going and that's pretty good I think I'm just gonna leave it like that okay so with whatever video you're doing you wanna put music in uh, or if you don't wanna put music and you just wanna remove audio you just click on the video you go under the edit video tools you go under video volume and you scroll the thing all the way to the left side so it is muted and you just and that's how you remove volume and I'm sorry there's no easier or way to show or indicate you just play the video here and it will have whatever volume if you if you took it off it won't you won't hear it anymore mine does not have volume so it will not you don't hear anything um, if you want to put music in you will find the music that you want to put in and you use royalty free stuff or whatever you made and let's say I want to put in this one here you just click it drag it and it will appear under the video and you won't be able to hear it because my uh, computer sound is off but it will play in the background and if you want it to fade in and then out again you just go in here and if you want it to fade in really slow or fast you put that in and if you want it to fade uh, fade out slow or fast you put that in there and that's how you do that and I'm just gonna remove it because you know whatever um, now when you're when you're going through it make sure you go through your video I know it is a tedious process but you want to do that just to make sure you don't have any hiccups or whatever see I have a, a an area where I'm actually paused for quite a few few seconds and I'm just to cut that part out you go to the start of it hit split right here and that will cut the frames and then you go to the end of it and you hit split again and then that will be the part where you don't want and then you just delete it and that way it actually jumps to a to the rest of it um, and that's how you pretty much edit or whatever um, to add an introduction to the video you just go to home on the toolbar up here and you click title and you name it whatever you want to name it let's, let's say speed paint Whoop. that's not how you spell speed paint speed paint and if you want to edit the text just double click the bar here the pink one 
highlight it and then you can change the font here and it'll be any font that you installed on your computer not default stuff so you can use whatever font you want you can change the size you can bold it italicize this change the color let's say I want to make it red I don't know why you would want to make it red but you can make it red you can do whatever you can change the the orientation and to let's say I want to make the the actual introduction window this window here shorter or I want to edit it edit it or make it all fancy you just double click it and let's say you have the effects over here you want to add in some effects so make sure you deselect the text and you have your your over the video part of the uh, intro and you just hover over the effects and it'll show you what the effects do and you just kind of you know go through them you can scroll down and see you know like the stars and you know this effect here and whatnot. Let's say I want to do that. Now if I want to edit it, you just double click on the black area, you do duration, and then you lower it. Let's say I want to do it three. And that will lower it to a faster speed. So you don't have to wait for such a long introduction. And if you want to transition between the video and the introduction, you go to I believe it is home or animation. No, you go under animations and then you go under, let's say, you you can do the same thing with the text, um, the intro thing where you hover over and it will show you the effect it does. So let's say I just want it to fade from black. I just click that and it will add it in. And when you play it, it will fade in. There you go. And let's say you want to do an outro. You don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom, to the back. When you do credits, it will automatically go back. But I don't know why I did that. So you just click edit credits and well, usually it will do text. Let's see, let's try that again. Let's put that back. Go home, credits. Nope. Well, I guess it doesn't want to do that, huh? Home, credits. Come on now. What are you doing? Don't don't make it difficult right now. Um, credits. Oh my goodness, it's just not working today, is it? Oh well. But usually, what it does, it will do a credits thing at the end here, and you can do the transition also. I don't know why it's not working at this point in time, but usually that's how it goes. Oh, okay. It's uh, it's having some difficulty there. Yeah, it's, it's glitching, I don't know why. But usually that's how you do it, and you can put in music. And uh, to save it, always save as project. Save it wherever you want to save it. Uh, so you can always come back and edit it however you feel you need to. And then to export it or save it, you just save movie. And then how you have all the uh, formats here that you can you want to do. Um, you can scroll down, see all the formats you want, and uh, if you want to upload it to YouTube, you just click YouTube and it'll give you the format for what YouTube usually gives. You can do other formats if you would like. You can do that, and you find where you want to save it, name it, save, and then you just upload it to YouTube. And you can do it from here, from the program, and upload it direct to YouTube, but usually I like to do it manually myself because then you have to log into the program and Blah, blah, blah. and that's just a tedious process so when you do that it'll process let it process and then you can just upload it and do whatever so I hope that was helpful and if you guys had any comments or questions leave them down below or my information is in the description um, thanks for watching and take care